this episode was not sponsored by Coca-Cola. Hey, what's up guys? It's Marcus again for another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Stadium. In the last episode, we took on Blaine of the Cinnabar City Gym. In this episode, we're going to take on the last gym leader, and that is Giovanni. Fun fact, Giovanni is my middle name, only it's not spelled like that. There are two N's in Giovanni, not one. It just looks so awkward, like, with just one N. I'm pretty sure, like, I, I might have to look this up, but I think Giovanni, as far as, like, you know, overall uh, Pokemon canon goes, I think his name is spelled with two N's, so this game might have f***ed up. So, um, yeah. Giovanni has always been this sort of mysterious gym leader for one specific reason, and, spoiler alert, he is the leader of Team Rocket. I know, surprise, surprise. You never would have thought a gym leader would be the leader of, spoiler alert, Team Rocket. I hope that you guys were muting uh, the video for that spoiler alert. Because I, I, I had two in a row. Because I said, spoiler alert, blank, blank, blank. Spoiler alert, blank, blank, blank. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's take a look at what we're going to face. Um, I'm assuming Rocket is going to use Poison. Um, I believe Lab Man is going to use Electric Pokemon? I don't know what Cool's going to use. It's always a mystery with Cool, because they're always so diverse. Anyway, like always, use Rental Pokemon. Um, at least for Gym Leader Castle, that is. So, Giovanni has a thing where he likes ground Pokemon. So let's see, we got Mega Drain. Um, hmm. Oh, uh, I'll come back to you. But, like always, flash forward right now. Alright, team selected Victory Bell, Lapras, Jinx, Jolteon, Marowak, and Starmie. I'm sort of starting to notice that, like, Lapras, Jinx, Jolteon, Marowak, and Starmie are, like, some of the most used Pokemon I've seen in this Let's Play. Mostly because I think they're sort of, like, some of the decent Pokemon around. Oh, you have a Moltres. Interesting. Uh, let's see, there's one, two, three... Three that are, uh, weak against Electro-types, so... Naturally, let's bring out Jolteon. I don't have any... Oh, never mind. I already have a Fighting-type move. And uh, Jolteon has it. So I can take care of, like, uh, Persian and uh, Eradicate. As far as... Uh, let's see. Um, I don't really have... Well, I have you. And you're good against... Not that much, really. Let's see... Starmie is good against... Well, I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, bring out Jinx. Yeah, 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 Jinx. And, um... Hmm. Uh, let me think. I'm thinking... Alright, whatever. Bring out Marowak for good measure. Of this gym series. A decisive victory is expected. A decisive victory is expected. Alright. Start things off with the Thunder. Oh, Damn it. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of what I expected from a rocket of all things. And I find it kind of funny that uh, a rocket is in the Viridian City Gym. Uh, stop using Toxic. Don't poison me. Don't do that. Ah, uh, why? Uh, you don't like what I do to you. Well, I'm going to kick you. I don't want to waste thunder on, like, such a... Oh! 
Double Edge might take him out, actually. Close. One can only dream, huh? Whatever. Double kick. Now, now I'm permitted to use it, sort of. Yeah. Take that, you dumb legendary. We're waiting for the next. As far as like the legendary birds go, I think Moltres might be my least favorite. To be honest. And I know how is a. The Pokemon are like, how are you gonna- Ah, oh, Why not use Pin Missile? Or rather, like, why am I still- Yeah, why am I still using Jolteon? Oh wait, it is super effective? Parasect is a- Ah, uh, whatever. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, let's bring out Jinx. Uh, anyway, I think out of all the uh, legendary birds, I think maybe I think maybe Articuno is probably my favorite, to be honest. Maybe Articuno or Zapdos. It's always it's always hard for me to choose between the two, really, because both are very like similar. Or nah, why am I talking about? Well, I guess they are because. No, what? Whatever, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. Shot, Marcus. But, um, yeah, maybe a Zapdos, just because of the fact that he's electric type and usually flying types are weak against, uh, weak, uh, like electric types are always good against flying types. Maybe just for that reason. But then again, if you use Articuno against Zapdos, then, uh, yeah. Well, I guess it's sort of like. I guess it sort of works like the three stars, to be honest. Because I think each one can contradict each other. So, yeah, it's sort of hard for me to choose, but if I had to pick anyone, it'd probably be Articuno. He's the more graceful. And plus, there are not that many ice type Pokemon. Anyway. I mean, there are, but like. You know, they're always just conjoined with water, which is no fun at all. No fun whatsoever. Is that the last one? I wasn't even paying attention. Yep. I sort of lose myself in the battle and just get involved in the commentary of the Let's Play. I guess maybe I, maybe it's just me like sucking at multitasking, but I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm a good Let's Player? Let me know. Let's see, what do we got here? We got... We got two that are weak against electricity, that being Firo and uh, Polyrath. We got... I believe... Hmm... I believe Rock Pokemon are weak against Psychic, I think? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. But I know, like, Kabutops is weak against Grass. Which, I guess, can also work the same way around Polyrath as well. But there is that chance that Polyrath might have a Psychic move up his sleeve. Um, I guess maybe we're going to put Jolteon out first, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm also going to put out Jinx. And uh, follow it up with um, with uh, Marowak, I guess. Yeah, that sounds good, I guess. All right. Oh, the these second battle. these second battles are always the bane of me. Why do I have a feeling we're gonna lose somehow, some way? All right, right off the bat, switch off with Marowak. That Pokemon must not have been the right choice. No, the reason why I'm switching out is because I'm trying to make things a bit easier. So, yeah. Ah, ha, ha. I'm just kidding, it's not doing anything. Oh, by the way, speaking of screeches, my friend, uh... My friend can do this most... I'm not... Oh, you punk! 
Switch out Pokemon constantly. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Yeah, I don't care. Switching out with uh, Jolteon. I'm only doing it because he did it. And God forbid he does the same thing when I bring out my Jolteon against. What do I do? <laughs> yeah. That's a bit. Oops, that's a mess. My friend, uh, his name's Ke- God! Are you kidding me with this? You punk! Yeah, it's gonna be one of those matches. Uh, oh. Ugh, I hate this trainer already. Who am I facing against the lab guy? Oh boy. And like, <laughs> he, he still does a screech. And yeah, like I said, my friend Kevin, he does this super, super annoying screech. It's not really that, it's not really annoying, but like, oh my god. It's not really annoying, but like, you know, it's like, it's like nails on a chalkboard, basically. It's that bad of a screech. It's like if I did, but only like ten times worse. Yeah, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna be one of those matches where we're consistently like switching out Pokemon. I swear to God. He's only doing it because I'm doing it. At least I take at least one hit. He's gonna switch out again. Oh no? Yes! I knew he was gonna give up sooner or later. I just had to be patient, that's all. I don't even know what his other Pokemon is. He's such a punk that I don't even care anymore. I just want like this guy to die. Cause he's such he's such a cheater in that aspect. He's such a Oh, by the way, I had to ask you guys something. Is that a, sh a real shiny Magneton? Like, I know, like, shiny Pokemon haven't been ex I know that shiny Pokemon weren't, like, invented yet in this generation. But I think that maybe that Magneton may be a shiny. I don't know, I had to look it up because I think the shiny version of Magneton might actually look like that, to be honest. Either way, it's still pretty cool. Oh no! Not double team. Now I'm using my. Because first of all, Bone Rang isn't that accurate in the first place. So please take him out. Please take. God. All right. And of course, I don't have Swift. He's probably gonna miss right here. No? Yeah! Try to get away from me, huh? You think you're sly? Well, you better think twice! My mental facilities are ten times the size of yours, you pea brain! Shout out to, um. Shout out to Rescuers Down Under. Easily the most underrated Disney movie ever. Easily the most underrated Disney movie ever. I'm glad it. I'm glad it's on Netflix because seriously, some of you people need to watch it. It's such a great movie. Like, compared to the Rescuers, it's like. What's that? Oh, please don't freeze me. Yeah, it's a hit. Yes. Compared to the original Rescuers, it just blows it right out of the park. Oh, by the way, fun fact: it's the only Disney sequel that's ever made by. Uh, the main animation studio, Walt Disney Animation Studios. That's the only sequel that they've ever made. All the other sequels that you've seen, like straight to video, they were made by like the like the television animation company that Disney owns. So, just a fun fact: if you want to rip on Disney for making the direct to video Disney sequels, don't. Just blame Disney Tune for it. 
But I'll admit, like, some people, like, bash upon, like, the director of the sequels, like... Well, I don't think it's entirely fair, because it's not so much, like, you know, the fact that Disney made them that's, like, you know, bad. It's just that, like, some executives at the company made, like, the television department do it. And, like, the television department actually has made some good content. Like, the Disney Afternoon shows, they were great! Those were some awesome shows. But the only thing that's, you know... But the thing that sucks about it is that Disney Toon, the, the television animation company that I told you about, they're the ones that made these sequels and those good shows. So you can't really be mad at them, but you can't really blame them either. It's just the, the snooty executives that made them do it, really. So, in that sense, the Disney direct video sequels are forgivable in that sense. But anyway, what are we looking at here? We're looking at an Amistar and a Tentacruel, which I believe... Well, maybe, like, Poison sort of contradicts... Uh, Grass. Um, let's see, what else we got? Hmm... Yeah, this is sort of what I was expecting from a cool trainer. Sort of a diverse team here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna put Jolteon out first. Again. Mm, I, don't know, I don't know about Victory Bell. Should I? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Or, just, let's see. Oh, you know what? Let me put out Jinx. Uh, huh, I don't know about the other one. Uh, I guess I can... I guess I could put out Starmie. Yeah, let's do it, Starmie. Alright. Here's the third trainer battle with only the gym leader left after this. What kind of battle can we expect Alright, just what I wanted. Oh, by the way, speaking of Tentacruel, um, I was looking up on some Pokemon facts uh, by Jaywitz. He's basically like the go-to guy in case you want to learn a bit more about Pokemon and like the overall community and universe and all that good stuff. So, you all pretty much know what the banned Pokemon episodes are, but did you know that like... You know that episode of Tentacruel where, like, there's a giant massive one who's, like, wrecking a town? You know they actually banned that episode just because of, like, 9-11? I mean, it's a giant Tentacruel, like, knocking down a building. I mean, like, what's so bad about that? I mean, okay, a building, a building being torn down. Okay, that's understandable. Like, just that fact. But really... It's just a giant tentacle taking it down a building, that's all. I mean, what are you gonna do, ban Godzilla next? Well, I don't know, I always found that to be a bit weird. Just the fact that they didn't air that episode. Just for that obvious reason. I don't know, I guess it's just some excuse to remind us that, you know, 9-11 happened or whatever. But look, I know it's like a very touchy... I didn't think I would take him out there. Look, but, but look, I know it's like a very touchy topic, but I don't really see any reason to like ban that tentacle episode just because it knocked down a building. It's a giant tentacle. It's no different than a giant monster taking down a building. Oh, by the way, speaking of ban episodes, if there's any ban episode that needs to be talked about, or rather, if there's any ban episode that deserves to be banned, it's definitely that ban episode with like the the poor gun and the strobe effects. Okay, that one is no brainer. It put like kids in hospital for Christ's sakes. But anyway, I don't know. <laughs> you know, weird segue. The weird segue is Jinx, lifesaver. Oh god. I didn't know it was that gonna do that much. Alright, hopefully this uh this ice punch will do the trick. Oh what? 
It's a rock type. Or maybe because of the fact it's like water as well. Ah. Ah, oh, shit, you get a chance to use Psychic or whatever. What will the next Pokemon be? Um. Alright, since we're gonna go this route, might as well use Starmie. Oh, it's Starmie! The remaining All right. Pokemon stock is 2 to 1. We're gonna use Thunder. Let's see if that does anything. I hope it does do something. Or, never mind, it could just like totally miss. Still did some damage though. They look ready for more. Yeah, I'm ready to take you out. Yeah. Okay. One more battle. Just what I expected from a cool trainer. A diverse team, hard to take out. But at least we're nearing the end of Gym Leader Castle here. And uh, let's just say I have a bit of a surprise for you. Um, like after this. After like we beat Giovanni here. Uh, let's see. We got... Uh, three ground types. Uh, let's see. Let me think about this. I guess... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jinx, Jinx, Jinx. We're definitely gonna use Jinx here. Um... Um... Starmie! Yeah, you're going out. And... Oh, sh I just realized I didn't even use Lapras. So... Yeah, Lapras is definitely going out. Oh yeah, def definitely going out. Definitely going out. Definitely going out. Lapras is definitely going out. Sorry, I had to like use that Rain Man reference. I don't know why I'm sorry for that. No, still a good movie. Oh my lord! Oh, it, uh, Fireworks are flying in this battle. All right, putting out Lapras. Jinx is too valuable for me to lose. The Although hypothetically, I probably should have retreated Jinx as soon as, soon as oh, I saw Tauros. I hate the fact that sometimes these moves can like leave a flinch effect. Like bite. That's another move that leaves a Pokemon flinching. However, what we're going to do is that right off the bat, we're going to confuse him. When he doesn't stomp me again. Stop stomping me! Alright. Next, we're going to use Ice Beam. Holy I was looking down for a second and I saw Thunder on the screen. Oh my god! Oh, that might have been a horrible move on my part. I had no idea that this Tauros... Oh, I'm so glad I confused it. Okay, for extra measure, we're gonna sing to it. Oh, please, please, please. Oh my god. I'm, sick. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is only the first Pokemon. All right, we have the element of surprise here. When he wakes up, he he won't know what hit him, or he could just like stay asleep. I thought he was gonna wake up there. Whatever, ice beam. All right. Oh my God, that scared the living out of me when I saw thunder. I thought I was literally gonna die. Oh, oh wow, he's bringing out the normal type Pokemon. Pokemon Smart move. Smart move. However, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to confuse him. But don't slash me! Don't do that. Oh no. Lapras. No! I love how Lapras just stands there when 
he does, uh, or he, he, she, uh, he or she does confuse Ray. What, you know Thunderbolt 2? <laughs> I am so glad that my lab person knows Confuse Ray, because this is turning out to be extremely helpful now. God damn it. Alright, we're still gonna, like, spam sing. Oh, no. No! God. At least it's still confused, so there's that. Oh, but I only packed, like... Or wait, he had... Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm like, thinking about this. Should I send out Jinx? You know, I'm gonna send out Starmie, why not? Hopefully that Thunder will take him out. I don't know if it will, though. Alright. We're sending out the Thunder. Aw, oh, Oh, whatever, he used Slash. That's okay. But it's a critical hit, so that's bad. It's very bad. What now? Uh, decent hit. Not as, uh... Not as decent as I thought it would be. He's only using Slash. He's just toying with me at this point. Or never mind, he knew exactly that he was going to get a critical hit. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, I swear to God, if I had to redo this. We're down to the last Pokemon. But at least I think the odds are in my favor here. Because odds are... I'm probably going to end up... Oh, no. No. Don't get a critical hit, no. No, sh No! Why? Damn it! And there goes the oh, great! God! What dog trio? Wow! Oh, you! Mm. Ah, that Persian man. Oh, all right. That's the first time I ever lost and I had to start all the way back from the beginning. All right, we are finally back. Ugh. Man, that was a lot to sit through. Anyway, um, all you have to do is just watch out for that stupid Persian. I, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Ooh. Ooh. Um, uh, seeing as though that uh, Lapras served us very well last time we tried this, send him out again. Uh, we're going to do the same. For Jinx, we're gonna send uh, Jinx out as well. Now, uh, hmm, yes, I believe we're also gonna send out Victory Bell. I haven't used you yet. Um, hopefully, it's a bit more diverse than last time. Giovanni. 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 It's a weird way of pronouncing it. It's always been pronounced Giovanni if I'm not correct. And of course you poisoned me. How dare you. That's a confuse ray for you, bad kitty. Ah, kitty, this earth bad is mine! Now nah, Kenny is a bad spot! Bad Kenny! Yeah! How you like them apples? It's singing! It's singing. It's singing, you did it work. Alright, fine. We're just gonna go with ice beam. 
Are you gonna slap yourself again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting very. Uh, I'm getting a lot of enjoyment out of the same Persian head, so. On the account of the fact that its slash is like. I don't know if it's like broken or what, but like. Uh, it, it, gave, it obviously gave me a lot of problems the last time I tried this. So, yeah, this is an, Oh, no. No, not the slash again. Oh, stay with me. Stay with me, Lapras. I need you. I need your love. Yeah. Take that, bad kitty. Bad, bad kitty. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. If I were Giovanni, I would move that cat's litter box to the freaking street. That's what I would do. Oh no, not an earthquake! Well, Lapras is down. Let's see, what are we gonna use? Hmm. I believe Jinx is very, uh... I believe Jinx is a trick. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. Yeah, no sh**. Please let me go first. Yes. What now? Oh, you lived? Oh, poo-poo. Stay with me, Jinx. Stay with me. Yeah. Pokemon have taken heavy damage. Yeah. Jinx, you are a lifesaver. All right. Neo King, uh, Neo Queen, out of the way. I'm sorry. Uh, what's next? Oh. Let it be something that Jinx can handle, please. Neo King. It's gotta be Neo King, right? Oh, it's right on. Close. Anyway, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna punch him with ice. Hey, right on. Guess what? Boom. <laughs> How does that happen? How does that happen? That's like that's like the second time that's happened in this let's play. I, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he got frozen from an ice punch. That's that's very amusing. <laughs> very, very amusing. But anyway, we did it! We beat Giovanni. Or Giovanni. Giovanni Giovanni. Yeah! And we got rid of that person too. Alright. We did it! I believe the worst is over. But what lies beyond? Oh snap! It's the Elite Four! Okay. These are the guys that you compete with to get into the Pokemon League in the normal games. And here, they are the final boss. Let's uh, take a look. Let's go through them. Lorelli, the ice trainer. Bruno, the fighting trainer. Agatha, the ghost trainer. And Lance, the dragon trainer. We're definitely gonna have to figure out a way to get a master team. Like, there's no way I'm ever going to, like, you know, beat this with just the normal Pokemon that we have here in the rental Pokemon. Because these guys truly mean business. They're as, divi they're as diverse as diverse comes. Like, I am serious. These guys are really hard if you're just using rental Pokemon. These trainers will have you, like, playing this segment over and over and over again. Usually things, like, fall flat, even with Lorelei who actually puts up a pretty good fight. Bruno, uh, 
I mean, he's like a fighting type trainer, so if you just have like good flying Pokemon or something like that, somewhere along those lines, then you're okay. Agatha, no problem. You know, you can just use the same thing that you use with Bruno, just like psychic Pokemon. Because all she uses is ghost Pokemon, which are, surprise, surprise, weak against uh, psychics. I know it's like backwards in the anime, which like always had me thinking that, gee, you know, how am I supposed to f uh, like fight against ghosts? Well, little did I know that I could just simply use like a psychic Pokemon. So yeah, anime, or rather for kids, you definitely get your Pokemon wrong sometimes. But really, you had me thinking that way for the longest time while playing this game. And let me tell you, I will not forgive you. Lance, for the longest time I didn't believe that, you know, there was like a single way to like get rid of dragon Pokemon. But, uh, upon studying up my, on my Pokemon more, I found that uh, the most efficient way to get rid of dragon Pokemon uh, is with ice. Now. I'm pretty sure we all can point to the same exact Pokemon, which is Jinx. However, I'm going to do something completely different. I am going to either consider using my own team of Pokemon, which is probably going to be just Overpower, or I could just use the rental Pokemon, which provides a bigger challenge. And you know what? I could use my own Pokemon with the Elite Four here, but let's face it, you guys want to see me, you know, suffer, right? Am I right? But then again, that drags out the videos a lot more than it should, so it's kind of a mixed bag, but I've decided. I am definitely going to use Rental Pokemon on the Elite Four. I don't care if it takes multiple parts in order for me to get to these guys, because these guys are friggin' hard. And let me tell you, you know, this was always that one match that I did not want to go back to. But, anyway, in the next episode, we are indeed going to take on the Elite Four trainers. So I'll see you guys in the next part.